it's over in 80 days. I'm unbanned in 80 days. I'm unbanned in 80 days! <laughs> The show goes on! This is my home! I get on bed in like 80 days, give or take. Something near 80 days. Honestly, honestly, I have no idea. September 13th, however the shit many days that is from now. But that means that trip is gonna be coming to a YCS near you very soon. And he can't lose. Trip can't lose. Trip never lost. I'm undefeated, never lost. I'm undefeated, never lost. Which means. Trip has got to start practicing. So, today's video is going to be a Pendulum vs. The World video where I go on rated and just destroy everyone in my path as I will at every YCS as I go 11-0 and undefeated in the finals and take my home a little nice trophy, which I will do every single event the second I get unbanned. So, happy 87 days or something like that away from my unbanning. Uh, and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Hit the subscribe button. Let's go. I mean, it's very simple. I'm going to go to every YCS in 80 something days and I'm going to win every YCS in 80 something days. It's that simple. But in order to be the best, you got to train, you got to play, you got to practice, whatever. And I, I kind of have the best life ever where Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of my job. What a dream life. I'm like, it's like I'm four. It's like, you know, when you're four years old, you're just like, mommy, I want to be a Yu-Gi-Oh player when I grow up. Well, guess what, mom? <laughs> I did it. Anyways, we're going to move on here. I'm going to go faster. We're doing four matches, okay? We're doing four matches. Win, loss, doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you guys everything. Win or lose. Four matches in a row. Let's go. Now, as you see, I hope it's no normal. I don't need to explain anything in here. I will show the deck profile at the very end. For those who haven't seen my Endemia list already, or my Pendulum list, this is the best deck in the game. I don't care what anyone says. Going first, going second. I hope they ask. Did not normal summon, so normal time gates are there. Uh, I do just want to confirm that I did not normal summon. I use Servant, uh, some foolish type of thing. Uh... Dragon Ravine. Oh yeah, I did. I did it because Servant will give you two monsters. Foolish will give you a Ravine. Will give you one. That's why I gotta play the Ravine. You gotta play the Ravine, bro. You gotta, but what if you're your thing a hand trap? Why do you all your turbo cards get hand trapped, right? Ravine makes sure that it is more turbo cards, right? And uh, we play uh, Sky Iris as well. A uh, very mini engine. There's one Iris with three terraformings for it for set rotation, etc. So it even makes the terraformings not dead if you draw doubles with Electro and all that. All right, we go Guard Dragon combo. We go to Strudel and then, hey, get rid of six cards from Jackal. What do you know? Five negates, and then after the five negates, you got a bounce from the seal, not targeting. And then after he gets rid of one of my cards, which he's not going to because I have infinite negates, I'm gonna summon Persona Dragon, which hey, it's odd eyes making Sky Iris great in this deck. You get a mini odd eyes engine in there for all the odd eyes lovers out there because I obviously, obviously love it. Then we got a little follow up and I'm Dr. Spell, etc. We win, okay, all right. Now let's see what he plays. I don't give a shit what he had. Yes, swear mode? Yes, yes, swear mode, bro. Please? No. He's playing Thunders. Hey, easy W. I don't care what anyone says. Everyone says Thunders is the best deck going second. Uh, they're fucking garbage going second, okay? I don't even need to negate anything. I don't even negate anything. I gotta let everything go. But I negate it anyways, just for shits and gigs. No idea why the hell he goes in the beat cop because he needed this card, I assume. And he just literally just scooped. He's like, okay, I can't do anything. And he literally just scooped after that one duel. Because uh, after you see this first turn, with, honestly, just an average hand with the Heratic, the Seal, the Dragster. What the hell are you going to do? You're going to cry. That's what you're going to do, and you're going to scoop. So I got a 1-0 for Pengod. All right, next. We're going to another one. So Thunders now. Obviously, Thunders are too easy. This one now. We go first for the uh, first two over here. We go first for this one as well. Lucky going first, auto win. Going second. For these four duels, it was we had three going first, one going second. Uh, normally, it's all the way around. I never went down rolls, but it's all good. It's all good. Uh, in the next ones, I don't want to show you any real match. Obviously, when I was doing the, the I'm gonna do my turn quick because everyone knows my pendulum turn. Uh, when when I'm dueling in rated, obviously I'll have a bunch like five of my matches I played were done in like ten seconds. So I'm not gonna show you those matches, or it's like someone scoops midway through my combo. Like, I don't want to show you that, or like they'll they'll play, they'll take one hour, they'll have a thirteen card extra deck. I didn't want to show shit ones, but any like good duel, the guy knows what he's doing, wanted to show. So here he got my seals. This he claims I cannot. Bring out a monster with a seal here. By the way, I banished Lily like a lot over here. Uh, all my harmonizings, I banished all my harmonizing one desires. I banished my uh, uh, target for the seal it brings out. But he claims I cannot bring out a dragon after seal gets tributed by Gamma Seal, but it's tributed. So I'm pretty sure you can. If you guys in the chat can let me know if you can or not. But I think if he kept uh, crying about it, so okay, fine. I'll take it back. It's just dark. I don't give a fuck. But I'm pretty sure I could. 
Before he goes into Azadat with Hot Red, I negate Mag Magius and he his turn ends. Boom. Get the hell out of here. Now, he goes first. I know his Crusadia bullshit and shenanigans all good. I know the power of this deck. Incredibly underrated. And I knew I was going to win if there's no Gamma Seal. And hey, there's Gamma Seal. It's okay. And we're going to play it out. Never scoop when you face Infinite and get Gamma Seal. Because he's got to literally wait until... It's after siding, right? So if I uh, sided shit cards like Ash Blossom, first off, nothing would have worked because he would have negated with Azathoth. I didn't open it in my opening five. But hey, we have the sixth card to think about. We draw Severe or Lava Glow and we auto win. We auto wait and we draw one of six in 50 cards because we play draw cards. So we have Into the Void Desire that's drawing three, right? So we have draw three, but he's negating it all. So, okay, you know what? I'm just going to wait a little. I'm just going to try and get him to allow some stuff. He allowed the Cerberus. I just want to clear his board so I don't get OTK and wait for my next draws. I knew Desires wasn't going to resolve, so I was saving the Desires in hopes that I'd have a hand eventually that he would have to, like, he couldn't negate everything and then my Desires would resolve. I didn't think he negated Into the Void. That's why I activated it right off the bat. I draw, unfortunately, just a little Servant and Demion. Okay, we uh, keep going. I can't go with Decay yet. Now, this next draw, I need a Scale 8 or a Severe Mode or Lava Golem uh, Shrine. Unfortunate. So, I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to set this because if he destroys it, it goes into the uh, thing. Uh, scale. I'm pretty sure he can't even destroy this because, again, I'm a little rusty. I haven't played in a while, but I, it's damage step. I'm pretty sure he can't even negate it, but hey, it's okay. Uh, the effect of Servant to put in the scale, but hey, it's okay. Whatever. Go ahead. Uh, I let him do it anyways, and he activates uh, low key. I let him do it because he'll, he'll lo lose two counters. Even though I'm pretty sure he couldn't even do it, but he uh, ended up putting five anyways. Okay, uh, then I realized I lost. Like, I'm like, okay, whatever. Next game. So it's game three now. Um, I already know he can't do anything. I, I'm expecting a kaiju for sure because he plays kaiju's main deck, uh, and I expect a few more coming side deck. I go through the motions here. I go through the motions. There's a certain way I play this where uh, I do the interruptions in a certain order. So even if he had hand traps, I'd be safe. If you want to, I gotta go fast forward because we're doing four matches here. But if you want to uh, figure out how to play through hand traps properly in the correct, correct chronological order, you could put the video to like half speed or whatever the hell, and you could check. There's a specific chronological order that you got to do for all of these. Okay. Now I made sure to have enough spell cards with my so you should draw to let the Endymion summon itself from field. But again, if I didn't go the correct, correct chronological order, I could have put up more negates. But you don't need no more negates. It's already enough to win. He Gamma Seals see, see, uh, Gamma Seal the Seal. I'm pretty sure I could have done something. Again, he's super poly. He's other darks. It's okay. I still got a Vortex. I end up negating the Magius and wait. Now next uh, next match, he scoops after that. Or he attacks. Uh, my turn, I draw something. I Distrudo away. You need to play Distrudo. Uh, I think I just uh, normal stuff. I add anything with Abductor. Uh, get the Strudo Engrave. I could have get a Dragster that turn, but spells don't do anything against that deck. And then Yazi win. So that's how I win that one. Uh, eventually, he's going to scoop. I just want to see that. But... Yazi's needed. I don't care what anyone says. Like, you need to play Distrudo. And the only reason you play nine Foolish Burials, sh Shrines, or whatever, is one, if they uh, interrupt one and going second, you want to see two of the nine. So if you see two of the nine, you open up with Dark Room Distrudo, which is f a, a, a beautiful. And you end up with so much stuff afterwards. This one, we're playing Salamangrates, I believe. Uh, this one was a great match. Uh, so he goes first for this one. He uh, opens up uh, Horrible. I think I just Blitzkrieg through him game one, not to ruin it. But yeah, so I open home. I mean, notice every hand I've drawn so far. Not, none of them were great. None of them were broken. None of them were, were shit. No, oh, sorry. None of them were shit. None of them was bro broken. They're all the same. They're all the fucking same. Like, the reason you play 60 cards is because there's so many. So I fast forward that one quick, but he had one Roar, one Valor, and I just obliterated his ass with five cards left in hand. Pause. Okay. Now, next, you keep going here. You know, sign up mining, all that. Okay, let him do his thing. Hopefully, I, I hope he has a better board this time. I don't want to just, like, blitz creep through. I want some challenge. I love playing through negates. I love playing through interruptions. It's not fun otherwise. In fact, I let my opponent go first all the time. All the time. I'm, I'm, I'm take the advantage, bro. Here he has uh, set three, I assume, a hand trap and three real interruptions. Or I expect four interruptions here. You could see the Sanctum. I didn't know he had a Sanctum. The Sanctum eventually screwed up my turn. But he had a Sanctum, a Roar, and a Twister, okay? I don't know if he had something in his hand. The Twister could have gave it away by him not activating... Uh, uh, the field spell, if they don't activate the field spell when they don't need it, there is a chance they have a card that needs a discard, like Twister. So I expect the Twister, especially after side deck. So I, I didn't think of it at the time, but after playing this, that's when I realized it, which means if I knew that before, I would have uh, tried to do pen call right away, but also knew he had Roar. So you want to try and bait out that bait out the Roar. Uh, the Sanctums will end up screwing me at the end of the game. Uh, you guys are going to see now, so I Foolish, Dark Worm. See how another Shrine would have been beautiful? I had another Shrine. He'd be forced to activate. Well, he could have just sank them all together, but I didn't have cards in hand and next turn whoop his ass. But uh, as of right now, I I'm thinking, you know what? If he has a hand trap, he has a roar and a random interruption, I'm good. I, I still win this. 
So we're playing little by little here, right? Uh, we put this, now uh, Servant's gonna have three. Um, now I did not play the Twister. I wanted Servant, I wanted him to, uh, I wanted the Servant to resolve and then boom, Twister. I wanted to get Ashed. I wanted to get Ashed or something like that and I would be fine. And he Twisters him, oh shit, that sucks. Also, I lose the Harmo, which sucks because we have the zero to pen out again. Okay, that's okay. I knew he had the Roar at this point. I did, I, it does suck. Uh, uh, I pen call. I expect him to roar. He doesn't roar. That's something. Something's fishy. He doesn't, doesn't roar with a pen call. And then I, when I go into uh, old pit, uh, I'm like, what the hell? Why didn't he do the roar? That, that's when I realized he had the. He didn't want to waste the roar. He wanted to make sure the sanctum resolved. He might have been thinking red reboot might have been in my hand. But then when I discarded with pit, he realized he didn't have red reboot. So smart on him because he wanted to make sure the sanctum resolved. Uh, and then now that he really he knew Harmo was in my hand, I with open. He's like, yo, you're about to get cocked. Sanctum, your ass, pussy, and then I get cocked by the sanctum. I'm like, you know what? It's all good. Uh, singing about special harmonizing, bring up poison to stall, but purple poison sucks, and I'll explain why at the end of the video. Do not play purple poison, most overrated card in this format. Do not play it. Next, uh, I go first now. Uh, very weird hand against hand traps. Uh, we want to play against Droll. So if you look here, you have two, uh, four cards that require discards, right? You have two Dragon Ravine, two Pen Call, which is cool. Because if, if you don't open Dragon Ravine in this hand, you literally just lose. If you don't open Dragon Ravine in this hand, you literally end up with zero into zero turbo cards. Do you guys understand how important Ravine is now? And like when you're like, oh, you're 60 and 40, I see my turbo cards. Everyone sees 12 of their turbo cards mainly in 40, but a, major a majority of the time you're not. I play 30, tur 30 turbo cards in 60. That's the equivalent of 20 to 40. You need to play as many as possible, and going second Ravine is absolutely necessary. It's not, it's not debatable. Ravine's a must because you're going to cry when you don't have your Desudo. Now, we ravine our Dark Worm. We make sure not to add anything by Alliance or Terraforming in case of Droll. So we ravine the Dark Worm. We don't use Dark Worm effect yet, in, again, in case of Droll. And then we want the, then we pen call. So our pen call could resolve. And we pen call, we add Harmo and Dragon Pit. And then we Dark Worm. But then he, he Droll is obviously the, right after the pen call search. So we're just left with Harmo and Dragon Pit. I'm like, damn it. Uh, that's definitely unfortunate. Uh, because Jackal, you ended up drawing no playable scales. You ended up drawing four spells and a Jackal, right? Which means that your pen call had to resolve, which it did, but you, then you had no normal summon, right? So if the Jackal, it was just a weird-ass hand, where it's like Jackal and two cards, and two cards you need to discard four, right? Which is totally fine. If it wasn't for the draw, we would have got gate zero and pen summon with zero and pit. Is a summon a worm, Jackal would be good. We're, like, we're good. Right now we're good as long as he has no other, uh, no other hand trap. We go Electrum and then Evaluate, which is cool. Uh, most of the time, uh, going second, going when you go first, you can play against one hand trap like nothing, and against two hand trap most of the time, but not all the time. I think the next few plays is gonna show how I play the two hand traps. Now, if uh, like I said, if the jackal was a normal summon, or the pen call would have searched for scales, and or if the if there was no draw, the worm would have added zero or something like that. Everybody was like an ogre instead or something like that. And we also did it in a way, by the way, where if you ravine, you ravine the alliance. That way, if you ravine, if you needed to save the other ravine, you would have had it. If that makes sense. So I'll never ravine the terraforming, and never ravine a ravine, and or never pen call a pen call. Try and pen call a terraforming or ravine that, so you like know which one to have next. Anyways, so uh, that hand we couldn't do anything there. Very awkward of a hand, but that's totally cool. Uh, we played to two, even with the awkward of a hand with one hand trap, we would end up with five negates, but. Hey, awkward hands with through two hand traps is totally cool. I like, have no problem with that whatsoever. Not many decks in the world can play the two hand two, two hand traps anyways with the awkward hand, and you really get awkward hands with this. Now he is going here. I do realize uh, defeat is imminent, but I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Uh, I'm gonna whoop his ass anytime I played him again. So I ended up losing this. Uh, I don't scoop. I think I kept playing it out. I just needed one. I needed something for. I wanted Ravine to resolve. Uh, Ravine's eventually gonna get popped by Phoenix, which sucked because I wanted Destrudo. Destrudo is how you come out of stuff. People don't realize Ravine's even there. And you just Destrudo their ass. Yazi their ass out of nowhere. But how fake would I be if I didn't show you guys everything? He drilled me again. And then he popped both back, both my scales. Maybe I could have penned something from my extra deck with two. Uh, one here, one here. But yeah, another in, more interruptions with the uh, Rage and Droll. I couldn't do it. So I, I'm not fake. I show you guys everything. And we're going to go to the next one here. Uh, this one, I spent a lot of time. I'm like, yo, no way I'm losing again. I spent a lot of time here thinking about uh, the correct order of chronology of hand traps. So if you want to go back and analyze any match, we'll analyze this one, okay? Uh, look at the chronology here. I want servers to get ashed. Unfortunately, it doesn't get ashed. So next, we Chrono Jackal. We, we always think about hand traps. Now we want Master to get ashed, okay? We'd rather set, like, uh, rather, so set rotation sets everything, right? So we're good with set rotation. 
it sets everything. It doesn't like add them to the hand or anything. We're going hand traps, get Jackal the, the counters if necessary. Activate Master to protect it, and that's when we realize get wrecked. He should have. He we wanted him to activate a Cerberus because we had infinity amount of uh, turbo cards. So Cerberus is the best Ash bait. But then we we because we had the Jackal on board, Mastery. Uh, I felt like he had the Ash. He scooped right away when he noticed a defeat was imminent for him. But that correct chronology of of uh, play was why he couldn't do anything, or why his potential Ash in hand couldn't do anything. Because of the chronology of play, and a lot of people wouldn't have done that the same way. He had realized playing Cyber Dragons, I'm like, sick, auto win. Uh, it's really auto win against anything, uh, unless they get lucky or you draw a bad. Uh, so, hey, it's an auto win anyways. He might as well have been playing uh, Pepe with Tier 0 with tr uh, 5 Electrums. We, we, we still win. Uh, so, here, well, like I told you, Dark Worm, Ravine. Like, bro, you got this every turn. I don't know how to explain this to you guys. Like... We're going to end up... So he has a Cyber Trap, whatever, it's like Pop 4 or something. So we want to get rid of that as soon as possible, right? Now we go into... What he should have done is what he realized he's an idiot. Even though he has a friend who watched TCG player. I don't know if he's like a sponsor player for TCG player, but buddy, you suck. Uh, I would have popped both of them right now, uh, but he didn't. Uh, he waited for Yazi, uh, probably so he could add a card because he knew defeat was imminent for him. He I popped both, and then he ashes the Yazi. I'm like, all right, buddy, I still have six cards in hand. Uh, so he adds his card. I guess he wanted to add because he had no follow-up because, you know, his deck sucks just like every other deck that's not Pendulums. Desires, draw two. And you have six cards just like that after clearing two of his interruptions. After clearing two of his interruptions, you have six cards in hand and a Ravine on field to pop. And hey, you have Mastery and Pen Call. You haven't even activated Mastery yet? Get wrecked, son. You can have five more interruptions. I'm still beating your ass. So, like, look, at I'm going to fast forward this. There's no reason to, to play more here. Here I see defeat for him is he's done. Try and save the Gazer for the Endymion because it'll make sure uh, the Endymion can't get ogred. But I'm like, <laughs> you get your, you, you lose. Uh, we banish everything. Uh, ja Jackal and something like whatever. Put up a Cerberus. Banish that shit. Add Pendulum everything. Attack, win, and cry. Uh, the deck's too damn good. That was the deck, guys. Now, I know you guys is super, super fast. Just look through here. I'm going to explain it way more in depth. I already, already have. I made a few changes. It's absolutely amazing. Do not change anything. Do not play more magicians than this. Magicians suck, okay? You don't want to play more than five or six at all. You always pen call before your desires. It, it, trust me, play these. You just need two low scales, two high scales, two level sevens. Black Fang Pearl Poison, they're, they're literally bricks, okay? Two low scales, two high scales, two level sevens. Dragon Caller could be janky, but dra instead, but Dragon Caller is better because you need the Guard Dragon combo. Three of all these, two harmonizing, you, you can play eight because pen call, you don't need it. It's not part of the combo, it's just like an extra, extra part. You only need one of each of these, it's the most consistent as possible with as little, little, little bricks as possible. Magicians brick your hand. You don't want to see magicians, you want to see these cards and all spells. Magicians are just what you get after. Uh, make your combo better. Like instead of five negatives, you get seven, something like that. One persona is all you need, mini, iris, and it is four, but it's also the card, you only use it if it's necessary. But normally these get Ravine. If not, you get Iris. Absolutely amazing for adding more counters. You need this whole deck all around any counters. You got 30 spell cards and Curtain Razor and Corner Goblin would give you more counters than 36. Curtain Razor is also necessary. If you don't draw one of your nine of these, you cry. You need to see uh, one of these free summons and they leave you because that way you have nine cards that get counters. You need to play it not debatable. The pseudo memory, not debatable. One, zero. Only play one mythical beast. You don't need more of that. Uh, the chances of drawing two mythical beasts that aren't Cerberus in the Hissy Card deck. Extremely minimal. So if you draw one Jackal and a server, that's not going to happen. Just discard it anyways. You're good. You don't need to play more Bricks. Playing Bricks and Pendulum decks is absolutely stupid. The reason why I cleared boards going second, even though I didn't in this one where I went second, is because of this deck. If you guys have watched me play any other match going second, I obliterate them. And in future videos, I'm only going to be going second. Show you guys whatever rate it happens. But in tomorrow's video, I'm going to do rated again in Pendulums. And I'm going to whoop everyone's ass going second. Hopefully, I lose the die roll. I'll probably just let them go first. Uh, now, 10 draw cards. You want draw cards to draw your, to draw your side cards. Uh, six pen call, three mastery. Iris is because you play three terraformings here and you need to play as many turbo cards as possible. So you play 10 of these, 10 of these, send out either Dark Room or Distrudo. You need the guard dragon, the dragons for the guard dragon combo, and you need Distrudo going second. Absolutely necessary, not debatable. Harmor also brings out Gazer, bring out Mirror, not debatable, you need it. And one Iris is the next best field spell. Amazing, because now you get to, you don't you get uh, somewhat of a non brick, because now you have four cards that get you a low scale or a negate if you need. Or you, if you don't need any of these at all, you just save it. And uh, Heretic Seal brings it up. Or Vortex will negate a card first, bringing Persona back to the deck. And then Seal will bring it out. 
side deck, you play these because you draw into it. The only reason you would not want to play 60 cards because you won't see your side deck. But you play 10 draw cards, so you're basically playing 50. Six of them draw two, so you're basically playing 44. Uh, uh, playing hand traps suck because you can't play draw into them with draw cards, and you cannot uh, see as a six card. All these cards on the side deck, you could draw into with your bunch of draw cards, and you could see as your six card, and they absolutely destroy the meta. Draw one of these against the correct matchups, and you auto win. You need to play Donna Russell because everyone's going to auto scoop when they see your board, so you need something that's generically good against anything. One Electra, one Guard, one uh, LP, Agar Pain, one Triple Burst, Saryuja, Heretic Seal, one Phoenix, and Unicorn, Pearl Sword, all you need. I do want to play a service and a Barlow, no space, but not required. One link Karibo for the Yazi, not uh, absolutely required. Drag Serfina Gate with the pseudo. Hot red, uh, Vortex Package. That's amazing. Try it for yourself. See you guys in the next video. Peace. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and go check my links in the description below. Peace.